bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your Archangel messages for the month. So I hope you are all doing well. Um, I am going to start with Aquarius as always because otherwise my brain just gets completely scrambled and it will be timestamped in the description box below. So bonjour Aquarius. Let's see what we've got for you today. Please remember those are general readings and they will not resonate with everybody. So just drop what, res what doesn't resonate. So what do we have for my Aquarius Aquarius, please? What messages do we need to hear from the angels? I think that's about right. Okay, so we begin with the Ten of Ariel. We then have the Two of Ariel. And the Queen of Gabriel. Energy at the bottom of the deck, which is supporting you, is the, oh, it's a major arcana, the world, with Archangel Michael. Now this is a very significant card and to me as a tower reader, you know, the majors represent the direct intervention of your spirit team, nudging you in the right direction or providing you with experiences that are going to enable you to evolve, whether it needs to be on the mental, physical, emotional or spiritual plane. Now the Archangel Michael, um, you know, is he who is like God, that's who he is. Um, this is a very important Archangel, um, he represents... Um, justice, the patron of truth, courage and protection. So the world is the completion of a uh, cycle and it says a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So that's the energy supporting you this month, so that's beautiful. So we have two pink cards as you can see and the pink in this deck um, represents the coins or the pentacles. So this is to do with um, physical world. So this is either home life or work life. So if it's home life, it's the buildings and the relationships within. And if it's work life, well, it's your jobs, your career, a business, education, if you're not employed, that kind of thing. And you've got a number 10, which is completion. So you can see why I was talking to you about the end of a cycle. And also a number two. So the 10 of pentacles read like this in this deck. There is so very much to be grateful for, financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. And then you've got, following this, the two. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So for some of you, and that's going to be a very specific message, um, you may be... Um, retiring very soon, and I'm thinking of this because the two of um, Ariel also talks about uh, weighing up your options um, from a very practical and pragmatic point of view, so looking at the, your resources and what you're going to do. You could also be just um, very busy and have a uh, second job or a side hustle that's providing you that Ten of Pentacles, which is the card of legacy. This is prosperity and abundance, really. So this is really beautiful. Um, Ariel, as, a, as an archangel, is the patron of um, nature and animals, but most importantly for your reading, of manifestation. So there is clearly uh, manifestation coming full circle and arriving for you. And then you've got a um, Gabriel card, which is the wand energy, the fire energy. Um, Gabriel is the uh, patron of creativity, and he also supports you in accomplishing your goals. So the Queen of Gabriel, passionate, charming, brilliant and independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. This is the Queen of Wands. This is someone who's charismatic, very attractive, and who knows how to manifest, how to bring things towards her. And obviously, no gender is attached. This is a general reading. So you really have a lot of manifestation and support for your manifestation coming along with a very happy ending and success. So this, this is a very, very... Um, positive reading and this is you here the the queen of gabriel which is making things happen drawing towards yourself instead of having to be manic about it um and you know planning for your 
your prosperity and abundance, whether we are looking at you know, prosperous and abundant relationships or whether we're looking at um, money, financial assets, careers, jobs. I'm getting more the message of um, financial assets than I am relationships. But the Ten of Pentacles can also talk about um, you know, the solid long-term relationships. Whatever you look at it, this is a very good reading and you may want to call upon Ariel um, for, for their support because you do have two cards from the same suit or from Michael because this is a major arcana which obviously is very significant. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir. Bonjour Pisces and um, welcome or welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. So what do we have for my Pisces querents? What do they need to hear from their archangels and angels? about right. So we begin your reading with uh, Major Arcana, card 15, Decision with Archangel Jophiel. I'm sorry, there's a lot of um, glare. Another Major Arcana, the Empress, which is Archangel Gabriel. And the Queen of Michael, that's the Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy supporting you right now for the month. Another major arcana, the Wheel. Okay, so you've got, you're dealing with big energies this month. Um, the Majors represent the direct intervention of your spirit team. Um, so the, you know, your angels and archangels leading you in the right direction or providing you with experiences such as relationships and situations that are going to make you grow whether it's on the mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual plane, whatever the case may be. So we begin with the Wheel, which is the Wheel of Fortune, and Archangel Jeremiel. Now, if you've not heard of Archangel Jeremiel, he is the mercy of God. He helps you reflecting on the past and make changes to your life, which is very fitted to this card, because the Wheel of Fortune talks about cycles ending and cycles commencing, and it's always in motion. So the card reads, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So if you need support in the transition between the end of the cycle and the beginning of the cycle, you can definitely call upon Jeremy to help you because he will help you um, taking stock of what's happened in the past, which is very important. Let me put it here. So we have Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Gabriel for you and Michael. So this card here, um, in a normal tarot, would be um, the devil. And Archangel Jophiel is the beauty of God. And this is a, an, an angel who helps you see the positive in a situation and helps you feel gratitude in a moment. So the card says, release yourself from, what, from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on the lack of self-confidence. So it is really making the conscious decision to look at a situation in a positive manner, which I'm getting the message is coming from the ending of the cycle and the beginning of something new. So the angel is asking you to just release, let go of something, because it no longer serves you. And the message is very much echoed by the Queen of Michael here, because this is the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is you. In this situation this is the recommendation you know exactly what to do the benefit of experience and a time for your career rather than relationships but the Queen of Swords is someone who 
is going to um, cut what no longer serves her. She's very intelligent, she looks at facts and situation, um, and she will cut what no longer serves her. And Michael represents this suit because with his swords, he can cut the ties that bind you to something that's not healthy for you and no longer helpful. So if you're having problems releasing something, you may want to call upon uh, Archangel Michael for this. Or you could always ask Jophiel here to help you see, you know, the good in this new beginning. Because this new beginning is very promising. You have the Empress with Archangel Gabriel. Now, Gabriel is the patron of creativity and supports uh, anything that you are trying to achieve. It's, it's going to support you towards your goals. So, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. This is you know, the promise of prosperity and abundance, of things growing, very positive and fertile time. So, really the reading is, is very clear about this. You are ending a cycle and starting a new one. You may be experiencing trouble releasing something and you can ask Michael or Jophia to help you with this because you have got growth, prosperity and abundance coming your way. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate your time. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir. Bonjour Aries and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Please bear in mind those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. So what do my Aries Quarians need to know for this month? What messages from their Archangels do we need to hear? So we begin your reading with the Knight of Ariel. We then have a major arcana here, the Moon, which is Archangel Haniel. And the Four of Raphael. Supporting you this month, which is the card at the bottom of the deck, we have... Ooh, the will, Archangel Jeremiel. I say oh because that was the same supportive energy for Pisces. So if you've got Pisces in your chart, you may want to have a look at that. Because Archangel Jeremiel is um, the Archangel that um, is here to help you reflect on the past and make changes in your life. And is very apt that he's been put in his deck with the Wheel of Fortune. Because the Wheel of Fortune talks about the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Number 10 being completion. So the wheel is always spinning, you know, it's a change of fortune, which is always very nice to hear. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So this is very nice um, energy to support you this month. And um, if you are having problems with transitions, you know, between the new cycle and the end of one, you may call upon Jeremiel and ask him to help you reflect and see, you know, why this is happening. So then you have the Knight of Ariel, Archangel Haniel, and the Four of Raphael. So let's start with Ariel. Now Ariel, in this suit, is the pentacles. Sorry, I'm too, too high, you can't see it. Um, and this is the patron of manifestation. So knights represent action moving forward, uh, even taking the lead yourself, you know, and moving things forward. It's a movement energy. So this card reads, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone kind. Because you see, the pentacles represent the physical realm. So it's either to do with home life, the relationships within the buildings you inhabit, or the actual building, or it could be work life, you know, to do with your career, your job, your business, education, whatever the case may be. But the Knight of Ariel is very reliable and 
you know, steadfast energy. So this is really Ariel telling you that, you know, you need to start manifesting because this is the beginning of a new cycle here. And you are being watched over. So if someone passed, um, they may be helping you and supporting you is another message here. You then have the moon, which is Archangel Haniel. Now, Archangel Haniel um, rules over the dreams and your subconscious. Um, and helps you understand things that are uh, mysterious, you know, about a situation. So the moon, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fear and grow stronger. So if you are hesitant about this new cycle, you know, about starting to move forward and accomplish what you need to accomplish, you can call upon Archangel Haniel and to help... Um, to ask for the help because this archangel can help you um, getting downloads you know in your subconscious mind or during um, when you sleep and I really recommend that you have a little journal by your bedside table so you can write down anything you remember as soon as you wake up and this is also you know to ask for um, the confidence to trust your intuition because sometimes it's daunting to trust your own intuition um, but yes you can call upon this angel for this and it is completely natural to you know, have some reservations when we start something new. And then you've got the Four of Raphael. Now, Raphael represents the cups in this deck, so this is the emotional realm, literally what makes you happy or unhappy in your relationships, in your life, generally speaking. And he is the patron of healing, and he brings love and important relationships towards you. So the card reads, seek out other possibilities, look for the magic in your life, be aware of your own emotions. Because the four represent uh, stability, strong foundation. But if you think about it, the cups is emotions, it's water, and you put water into a small cup. After a while it becomes stale and stagnant. So there is this idea of um, maybe feeling a bit... Um, bored or having lost the the love for life or the first of for life is what I'm hearing and this angel here is asking you to look for the magic in your life as in look at what you already have and be happy about that um, and also it's a, a message of you know be aware of your own emotions you know don't fall into the trap of feeling blasé and bored with your life because you clearly have a new cycle starting and lots to accomplish so if you are struggling emotionally about this you can call upon Raphael obviously to help um, support and guide you so I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me if the message helped you in any ways do let me know in the comment box below I'd love to hear from you thank you so much for stopping by I always appreciate your time I wish you a wonderful month and I will see you again very soon until next time au revoir Bonjour Taurus and welcome or oh, welcome back. Um, I hope you are doing well. Now please do bear in mind those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. So what do we have for my Taurus querents? What do we need to hear from their archangels? So we begin your reading with the Two of Michael. We then have a Major Arcana, number 15, Decision, which I'm not surprised to see because of the Two of Michael right there. And we have the King of Ariel. The energy at the bottom of the deck, which is the energy supporting you this month, is another Major Arcana, card 13, Peace. Okay, so let's talk about this first. This is um, Archangel Azrael. Now, if you've not heard of this Archangel, it's the Archangel that brings you comfort and support and helps you let go of a situation. So it is kind of very fitting that it's in card number 13. The card reads, release the past, there is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. 
So by releasing something that happened in the past, whether it's a relationship, an event, whatever the case may be, you're going to get peace in your life. If you are struggling with this, you can always call upon Archangel Azrael for this, uh, in your meditation or in your prayers, whatever um, it is that you do, your practice, you know. But this is about really releasing something and moving forward. And I'm not surprised to see this, because you have the two of Michael and the card of decision. So evidently, you're at a crossroad here. Now, Michael is the Archangel who is like God. This is a very important Archangel and he is the ruler of the sword energy in this deck, which is the mental realm. And twos represents decisions, crossroads and duality. And the cards read, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, sorry my fingers on it, find a compromise. This is the two of swords. This is refusing to make a decision because we feel we have a lack of clarity, because we feel um, maybe overwhelmed and so we are just protecting ourselves and not moving forward. And the advice here really, your angels are saying to you, you need to make a decision, you're at a crossroad and you need to let go of something. And this, is, this message is reinforced by card 15, Decision, with Archangel Jophiel. Now, Archangel Jophiel is the beauty of God. And this is the Archangel who helps you see the positive in a situation and helps you find gratitude in the moment. So the card says, release yourself from what which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on the lack of self-confidence. So obviously, you know, take what resonates here, but there is evidently a need to make a decision. You're at a crossroad, and there's a need to transcend what's blocking you and release it, because it belongs to the past. You will get peace with this card here, and you'll get a better future, better experiences, if you let go of whatever it is that you need to let go of. You have two main cards of decisions here, so you can call upon Jophiel as well for that. And then finally, you've got the king of Ariel. Now, Ariel is the coins or the pentacles, so it's the earth um, realm. Physical realm, so home life, work life, jobs, careers, financial assets, all of that kind of stuff. And Ariel is a patron of manifestation. So, kings in the tarot, they are the masters of their suit, they have knowledge and experience, and... So this is someone who's very practical, pragmatic, and prosperous. So your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success, using resources wisely. So if you are looking at uh, changing jobs, for instance, or relocation because of a job, they are saying make the, the leap of faith. This is going to work out really nicely because you're going to have professional and financial success. So a change of job, a relocation, starting a business, all of that is... A, you know, going to be very uh, beneficial to you. Now, obviously, you know, you have free will and all of that. I'll never presume to tell you how to lead your life, but this is what I'm reading here. I'm not feeling messages to do with relationships. I really think this is something to do, something very um, pragmatic and practical, uh, a decision to be made um, that's going to have an effect on your uh, material situation. But this is going to bring you peace. So, uh, maybe a uh, better income, which obviously is going to stop the worries if you are having problems paying your bills. Um, this is just going to be very beneficial. Now, I'm hearing, it's just for someone specific here, um, if you are worried about leaving something behind, like maybe the circle of friends, co-workers, support that you have where you are, um, you need to release that in order to move forward. There's something better coming your way. But again, as I said, you have free will. Um, I'm just giving you the messages as they are, but this is a very prosperous uh, card, uh, very successful, whether it is with money or, or jobs, careers. Um, this is really saying make the decision and move forward because it, there's something better for you. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.
Bonjour Gemini and welcome or welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Now please do bear in mind those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. Now what do we have for my Gemini Aquarians? What do we need to hear from their Archangels this month please? So we begin your reading with the Knight of Michael. We then have the card of Decision with Archangel Jophiel. Now that's interesting because um, I think Taurus just got that and Pisces. So if you've got any of those in your chart, you may want to check this out because this is a major arcana. So we're talking something that's going to have a longer impact on you, longer uh, longer term impact on your life is what I mean and then again the ten of Michael so we're talking a lot of Michael inter intervention here and at the bottom of the deck which is the energy supporting you you have the eight of Raphael now Raphael in this deck is associated to the suit of cups which is um, to do with the emotional realm so literally what makes you happy or unhappy whether it's in relationships your life in general and Raphael is the patron of healing he brings love and important relationships to you the eight in the tarot is the number of advancement and the eight of cups generally speaking is coming to terms with the fact that we are no longer emotionally satisfied by a situation or in a relationship and that it's time to move on it's not an easy energy but it's very empowering and the card reads there is something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you a spiritual quest so if you if your heart is bruised if you've been hurt or if you're feeling, you know, sorrow, whatever the case may be, if you need emotional support, you can call upon Raphael, um, you know, during your prayers or your meditation, whatever your practice is, to support you, because this is the energy that came up as a support for you. And we have two cards of Michael. Now, Michael is the, he who is like God, very big archangel. Um, he represents the swords suits here, so this is air energy, the mental realm. So you know your thoughts, the knowledge you gain, the truths that are exposed. And Michael is the patron of truth, justice, courage and protection. So if you feel you need protection, or if you feel you need, you know, courage to um, turn your back on something and move forward, then by all means do call upon him because he's come up twice in this reading for you. So firstly you have the knight. Now the knight represents things moving forwards, action being taken. I really love this kind of energy. And the card reads, time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. So this is really the archangel saying to you, you know, it's time to move on. You already have this idea with the eight of Raphael here. There's something better out there. You're ready, you have the resources. Um, it, it, it's time to move and look at things from a factual point of view. Don't let your emotions cloud this. Because you have the card of decision right there. And the decision is Archangel Jophiel. Now if you've not heard of um, Archangel Jophiel, it means the beauty of God. And this is an Archangel who helps you see the positive in a situation. You know, someone who, an Archangel who helps you feel gratitude in the moment. And the card reads, release yourself from what? From that which holds you back. A need to detox. A necessary worry based on the lack of self-confidence. This is the equivalent of the devil card in the tarot. So this is really talking about, you know, a limiting energy. Whether the devil is internal, whether this is you, you know, lacking self-confidence, talking down um, to yourself. Or whether this is um, an out, outside devil like being stuck in a codependent relationship or in a narcissist relationship um you know a, a job that no longer serves you this is a big decision because it's a major arcana so it's going to have a longer impact on your life and to me as a tarot reader it's the direct intervention of your spirit team so the angels in this case nudging you in the right direction you know trying to show you the way and with Michael telling you here, you know, time to move on. You've got Raphael telling you, you know, there's something better out there. I'm here to help you heal. Um, this is really showing, 
that you need to move forward because you also have the 10 of Michael and the 10 is completion, it's the end of a cycle in Tarot. So this is like the 10 of swords, this is releasing something, this is accepting something for what it is and just letting it go. I see this card as a big sigh of relief. And the card reads, a situation has ended and you're finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So whatever this is um, that you have decided no longer serves you emotionally, you've rea realized that you are not happy. Uh, whether you are thinking of uh, turning your back on a relationship, a job, a situation, whatever the case may be, a friendship, really this is a big decision in your life and you can call upon Jophiel to help you see the positive in this situation that's challenging you and by all means call upon Michael to help you cut cords because this is something that this Archangel does. He protects you and with his um, swords he can cut the cords so that you can you know, successfully complete the cycle and, you know, feel relieved and free of this and move forward. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Your time is always appreciated. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir. Bonjour Cancer and welcome or welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and oops and just drop the rest as I just dropped my card. So I will take it. So what do my Cancer Aquarians need to know? What do we need to hear from the Archangels for this month please? begin your reading with the Seven of Ariel. We then have the King of Ariel, very nice energy here, and the Three of Gabriel. The energy supporting you, which is at the bottom of the deck for the month, is the Queen of Raphael. Okay, so we've got Archangel Raphael coming forwards. To support you this month. Now, Raphael is associated with the cups energy in this deck, which is the emotional realm. So, what makes you happy and happy in your life, so relationships, all of that, your emotions and your feelings. Uh, Raphael is the patron of healing and he brings love to you or important people, you know, with whom you're going to have big relationships. So, we have the Queen of Raphael. Now, the Queen represents patience and understanding and they represent the yin energy, they're receptive. So the card reads, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. Um, the cup suit also represents intuition, I forgot to mention that, which is why you've got the psychic information here. The Queen of Cups is someone who is focused on what makes her happy. Um, she's very loving and she will make decisions based on feelings and emotions rather than um, facts. Um, very nurturing energy so this is really saying follow your heart and if you are getting synchronicities pay attention to them pay attention to messages from your angels um, but this is a very soothing energy um, it, it's beautiful really and Raphael is here if you need um, any kind of healing but it could also be someone coming your way Raphael may be bringing you someone like the Queen of Cups, and remember this is uh, a general reading, so there's no genders attached. Now this is the only um, relationship kind of card you have, because otherwise you've got Ariel coming twice, and Gabriel. Now Ariel is the suit of pentacles or coins, so this is to do with the physical realm, so this is um, home life, work life, jobs, careers, financial assets, education if you're not employed. And Ariel um, is the angel of manifestation. So you begin with a seven, and the seven is the number of um, experience, you know, that comes from self-evaluation and that gives you confidence to move forward. 
So you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So this is saying that you're looking at something and you are analyzing and you're thinking, you know, was it worth it, the time, effort that I spent doing this, or all that I've invested in this situation, whether it's at work or in the relationship, was it worth it? And Ariel is saying, yes, by all means it is. You just need to be more patient because what you're trying to manifest is going to manifest. You've got the king of the same suit. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. So this is really saying, you can see the progression here. This is saying, okay, you've been trying to manifest something and you may feel a little bit impatient, um, but Ariel is coming forward and telling you, no, no, don't, don't worry about this. This is all happening in good time and you you are going to manifest what you want because you've got this, your plans are working out very well. You also have Gabriel coming forward and Gabriel is the patron um, of creativity, you know, he supports you in accomplishing your goals. Three is the number of growth, expansion and creation. It's the one's energy, the fire energy, you know, what really ignites your heart and soul. Prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step, optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So you see the message is very clear to me. Um, you have two uh, archangels coming forward who are supportive of accomplishing goals, manifestation, and they are both re reassuring you, telling you, you've planned well, things are moving forward and you're going to have uh, prosperity um, on a professional level of financial success, which is very good. Now, if this is to do with a relationship, this is saying that this queen is going to come towards you, the person who embodies the um, characteristic of this card. Otherwise, if this is to do with work and so on, obviously this is very um, beneficial and this is you um, just following your heart, you know, just go for it and if you're getting uh, intuitive hits, listen to them and obviously, you know, you have free will, I will never presume to tell you how to lead your life, but this is what the messages are, this is what I'm hearing basically. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If the message helped you, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate your time. I wish you a wonderful month and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir. Bonjour Leo and welcome or welcome back. I hope you are doing well. Now please do bear in mind those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. Now what do we have for my Leo Quirons? What do they need to hear from their Archangels please? So we begin your reading with a major arcana, the moon, and archangel Aniel. We then have the four of Raphael. And the three of Gabriel. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy of the archangel supporting you this month, we have card 15, Decision, and archangel Jophiel. This card has come up a lot in the uh, archangel messages. Um, I believe it was in Taurus and Pisces, I've got it. And another one, which I can't remember who, but yes. Um, this is a major arcana. You've got two major arcanas, so half of your reading. And major arcanas, to me as a tarot reader, represent the direct intervention of your spirit team. So in this case, the angels and archangels, really directing you uh, on the right path to, um, you know, live your best life or to accomplish your life purpose. So if you don't know of Archangel Jophiel, this is the beauty of God, that's what it means. And this Archangel is someone, is sorry, an angel who helps you see the positive in, in a situation or in an event and helps you find gratitude in the moment. So this is the card of decision, 
and it says release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. This is the equivalent to the uh, devil energy, so whether your devil is internal, such as lack of self-confidence, talking negatively to yourself, or if it's external, someone who's toxic around you, or a codependent relationship, whatever the case may be, you know what your devil is, you know, an addiction of any kind, this is really saying you need to move on, but you need to make the conscious decision to turn your back on this and release yourself and let go. And if you're having problems with that, you can call upon Jophiel to, to help you, um, you know, see the light at the end of the tunnel, basically. Now, this is going to be a big decision because, as I said, it's a major arcana, so this is a big decision. And you've got um, the moon after that with Archangel Aniel, the four of Raphael and the three of Gabriel. So, um, Archangel Haniel rules over the dreams and the subconscious, and she helps understand uh, mysterious circumstances, you know, when, when things are veiled, because the moon shows um, the idea of, you know, things don't look the same under the moonlight as they do under the sunlight, you know, things are veiled and you are foggy. So... The card says, the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. This is really to do with trusting your gut. Um, and Archangel Haniel may be trying to contact you during your dreams when you're asleep, so I strongly suggest that you keep a, a dream journal on your bedside table so you can write down any messages you get. Paying attention to synchronicities and signs, obviously, um, you know, so that you she's going to tell you the way to go basically she's going to show you the way um and and this is going to be in the form of uh, intuitive downloads so really uh, be open to that um there is also this this idea of facing uh some buried fears or emotions which the moon embodies so you know facing that and being confident um that things are going to get better you then have the four of Raphael. Now, Raphael in this um, deck is associated with the cups. So that's the emotional realm. So what makes you happy, unhappy, your feelings, your emotions, anything to do with relationships. And four is a number of strong foundations and stability. The card reads, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So you have this idea, again, of being aware of your own emotions, you know, facing your fears, um, maybe looking at emotions that you have buried in yourself. Um, you know, with the Four of Cups, when you put water into a small cup and it stagnates, it becomes stale. So there is this idea of, um, you know, feeling blasé, having lost the, um, the first for life. And Raphael is saying to you, you know, open your eyes there are very good things around you, be aware that your emotions do not block you from seeing it, because the moon and the fog I was talking about may be coming from your own emotions, you know, from this lack of self-confidence here that we were discussing. That's for someone specific, you know, I'm just channeling messages here. But generally speaking, this is really finding the beauty in what you have around you. And then you've got the beautiful three of Gabriel. And I say beautiful because three is the energy of growth, expansion. It's really good energy. And the Archangel Gabriel is the patron that supports you in accomplishing your goal. Um, he's also the ruler of creativity. Now, the three of Gabriel is the three of wands. So this is fire energy, what ignites your heart and soul. This is your energy. And the card reads, prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step optimistic plans that turned out as expected. So you see from, you know, you being here, not seeing what you've got going really, you know, the beauty of things around you, the positive things, um, you then have this card that says to you, hey, look this way, prosperity is coming, things are moving forwards, and you're going to get, you're going to hear from that soon, you're going to get news. But this is all pending on, you know, facing your fears and making this decision of releasing something and then everything will fall into place. So that's the messages I have for you. I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate your time. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time.
Bonjour Virgo and welcome or oh, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Now please do bear in mind those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. Now what do my querents need to know? What messages do they need to hear from their archangels please? So we begin your reading with the Queen of Area. We then have, oh wow, the, I'm sorry, this is like fifth time this has come out. It came out for Leo, I think Taurus, Pisces. This is the Major Arcana, this is the equivalent of the Devil. This is Archangel Jophiel in this deck. And the Three of Gabriel. And this card also came out for Leo. So if you've got Leo in your chart, you've got two cards that have appeared for Leo. So you may want to check this out. Bottom of the deck, which is the Archangel or energy supporting you this month, you have the card of strength, which is the Leo card. I'm really getting a Leo message here. <laughs> okay, so you've got half of your spread is to do with Major Arcana. And to me as a tarot reader, the Major Arcana represents the direct intervention of your spirit team, in this case your angels and archangels, nudging you in the right direction so you may fulfill your life purpose or live um, you know, the best life possible. So the card of strength, is, this is Archangel um, Ariel and you've got this Archangel twice, so this is of significant importance for you this month. So strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. The strength card really talks about having fortitude, tapping into your inner power to know that you can overcome whatever comes your way. So that's that idea of self-confidence. It's also taming your inner beast as well, you know, being kind, um, that kind of energy. And Archangel Ariel is the patron of nature and animals and also of manifestations. So if you're trying to manifest something, this angel uh, can support you. So we have another Ariel card, as I said, which is the Queen of Ariel. Now, the Queen represents patience and understanding in the Tarot, and Ariel is to do with the coins or pentacles, so this is the physical realm, home life, so buildings and relationships with it, uh, work life, financial assets, jobs, careers, education if you're not employed. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is Earth energy, very much your energy, and this is someone who's very grounded, very pragmatic and practical, who knows how to grow her coin, you know, how to be prosperous and abundant, um, very giving character. And this is a general reading, so there are no genders attached here. We're just talking about the characteristic of the court card. So the card reads, nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. So this is followed by decision, Archangel Jophiel. Now Archangel Jophiel, if you have not heard of this Archangel, it means the beauty of God. And this is the angel who helps you find gratitude in the moment and helps you see the positive in any situation. And this is the devil card. So it talks about a limiting um, energy. It talks about either an internal devil, which is, you know, within yourself, like how you speak to yourself negatively, for instance, or an outside um, devil, which would be someone who's toxic, uh, toxic relationship, negative uh, behavioral patterns, could also talk about addiction. But it says, release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So you see, you have the um, strength card here saying, you've got this, you've got the confidence. And so this is really talking about you doubting yourself, is the message I'm hearing. And there is no need for you to, to feel this way because here quite clearly is saying to you, you have the ability to make anything more beautiful, you are practical, and the advice is to really nurture yourself um, and obviously nourish your relationships as well because it can give you the strength that you need to face up to that decision, that thing you need to let go. Because once you let go of this thing, whether this is uh, a toxic relationship, a job that no longer serves you, um, 
you know, whatever the case may be, you know why you're here, there is a very positive outcome coming up here. You've got the three of Gabriel. Now, I love the energy of, of number three because it's growth, expansion, so it's beautiful energy of movement. And the Archangel Gabriel is the patron um, that supports you when you're trying to accomplish something. So if you need help with accomplishing something, do call upon Gabriel. Um, this is the equivalent of the Three of Wands, so this is fire energy. Um, this is what ignites your heart and soul. And the card reads prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turned out as expected. So you see, once you've made the decision to release, to let go of something, and you look after yourself, you nurture yourself, you realize the strength that you have, that you are, you are that pragmatic, practical queen who can grow um, and be financially stable in the physical realm, then you're going to have prosperity. You know, you, things are going to move forward, things are going to grow. You've got this. I'm really getting the message of lacking self-confidence, not being sure that you're strong enough, but you really are. And if you feel that you are not, you may want to contact Ariel through meditation or prayer, whatever your practice is. Um, because as I said, this is an angel that supports manifestation. You also have Gabriel who supports achieving your goals. And if you are struggling to see the light at the end of the tunnel and you need help with that, you can call upon Archangel Jophiel. But making this decision it's going to have a long-term impact on your life. This is very significant. And you do have this amazing strength within you that you may not be aware of. So by all means, tap into it. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you did, or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your time. I always appreciate it. I wish you a beautiful month, and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir. Bonjour Libra and welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Now please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. Now what do my Libra querents need to know? What messages do they need to hear from their archangels please? So we begin your reading with the Two of Michael. Following this, we've got a Major Arcana, the Empress, represented by Archangel Gabriel here. And another Major Arcana, New Beginnings, that's the energy of the world, Archangel Jeremiel. The Archangel supporting you this month, or the energy at the bottom of the deck, is Raphael, with the Nine of Raphael. Beautiful card. Let me talk about this first. So Raphael is associated with the cup suit in this deck, which is the emotional realm. So what makes you happy, unhappy, whether it's in a relationship or a situation. Your intuition as well. This is water energy. Um, this is really your feelings and emotions. And Raphael is the patron of healing, and he brings significant relationships to your life and love, generally speaking. The nine in the tarot is attainment or achievement. So this is a beautiful card of feeling very happy. It's called often the wish fulfillment card. So the card reads, make a wish, dreams become reality, reality, sorry, a joyful time of life. So this is saying that, um, you know, you're going to get your wish fulfilled. Ar Archangel Raphael is here to support you. You're going to find emotional fulfillment, which is beautiful energy to have supporting you for the month. Now, half of your spread is to do with Major Arcana. And to me as a Tarot reader, the Major Arcana represents the direct intervention of your spirit team, you know, nudging you in the right direction so you may achieve your life purpose or live a better life. 
and in this case this is your angels and archangels you're really trying to you know guide you and the reason why we have this here is because you have the two of Michael to open the um, spread now Michael is a big archangel and his name is he who is like God and he represents the swords energy so this is the mental realm so this is your thoughts your ideas the knowledge that you gained um, the truths that are exposed and two is the number of decisions crossroads and duality so this is air energy which is your element it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem find a compromise so the two of swords talks about being at a crossroad and not making a decision now there could be many d reasons why you're not making a decision it could be because you feel you lack clarity you don't have all the facts that you need or it could be simply because you're trying to protect yourself um, which is why you're over analyzing a problem you know and there's no judgment here when when we get hurt uh, after that you know the shields are up and the defenses are up and it's very difficult um, to make a decision and, and you know there's that fear of getting hurt again or making a a wrong decision you know like getting it wrong um, but really the advice here is just to make the decision because you have your wish fulfillment coming it will come on top of this this is followed by the Empress and and the world which are beautiful cards so the Empress in this deck is represented by Gabriel now Archangel Gabriel is the patron of um, creativity but also is an angel who supports you when you're trying to accomplish a goal so when you make this decision if you need help in accomplishing something by all means contact Gabriel and if you need clarity to make that decision Ma Michael is an amazing archangel um, to get to the truth of the matter so the Empress ruled by number three growth expansion Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. The Empress represents fertility in everything. So the birth of a project, of a child. Um, she represents prosperity and abundance, manifestation, growing. Um, it really is a beautiful card, very promising, very beneficial, which obviously will come um, to life once you've made this decision it's placed directly above your wish fulfillment cards whatever you you know agonizing over once you make the jump basically this is going to grow and you, you're going to be very happy is what I'm seeing in the cards because then you've got card 20 new beginnings Archangel Jeremiel now if you've not heard of um, Archangel Jeremiel this is the uh, Archangel who helps you make changes in your lives um, so this is really um, interesting because if you are struggling on making this decision you can also call upon him because he can help you manifest those changes so the card reads starting a new life finding your purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past you know this is the judgment card this is the the wake-up call the awakening um, rising above a previous situation and realizing that you know there are many better things for you awake awaiting awaiting sorry I can't speak English today awaiting you so this this reading really is beautiful because it clearly shows that you have you're at a crossroad and you have a block here but your wish is going to get fulfilled as soon as you take action you know you've got fertility prosperity creativity and abundance you've got starting a new life emotional uh, fulfillment this is a beautiful spread so as I said if you're struggling with making decisions call upon Michael is an amazing archangel for this if you want help with manifesting Gabriel is amazing for this um, and uh, Jeremy can help you make changes in your life too so I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me if you did or if the message helped you in any ways do let me know in the comment box below I'd love to hear from you thank you so much for your time I always appreciate it I wish you a beautiful month and I'll see you again very soon until next time au revoir Bonjour Scorpio and welcome or welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Now please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. 
So take what resonates and drop the rest. Okay, like I dropped my cards. <laughs> so what do my Scorpio querents need to know? What messages from the Archangels do they need to hear, please? So your jumper was the Queen of Michael. It's followed by the Seven of Michael. So, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> seven of Michael. So evidently Michael is coming forward to support you this month. We also have the page of Raphael. And the Archangel supporting you this month, or the energy at the bottom of the deck, we have Raphael. So, the Lover's card, this is a Major Arcana, and to me, as a Tarot reader, um, the Major Arcana represents your spirit team, in this case the Archangels and Angels, you know, showing you the way, nudging you in the right direction, so that you may achieve your life purpose, or live the best life that's possible. So, Archangel Raphael is really the patron of healing, and he brings um, love and also significant relationships into your life. Now, the Lover's card is a card of decision. So make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitment and the power of love. This is a card that talks about a, dis a decision, a choice, that's going to have a long-term effect on your life because it is a major arcana. And it is the advice is obviously to make this from a heart space, not necessarily factual space. You have two cards with Michael. Now, Michael in this suit represents the sword's energy, so the air energy. Michael means he who is like God. This is a very important archangel who is the patron of justice, um, truth. You can call upon him as well for courage and for protection. So, you have the queen. Now, the queen is patience and understanding. The queen of swords is someone who's intelligent, who's sharp, and who's going to cut what no longer serves her. Um, as keywords here, you have brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous as well, because she's witty. Now, this is a general reading. There are no genders attached to this, okay? So this is someone who represents the characteristic of the cards. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than your relationship. So you see, the Queen of Swords appears when um, you need to cut what no longer serves you. And this is obviously coming after the lover's card, which is, you know, you have to make a decision. So you need to cut something. Um, and that will show you the way, basically. You know, you will then know which, which way to go. Um, and obviously the queen is experienced. So this is talking about uh, being able to see for the BS, you know, that kind of energy. You then have the Seven of Michael. Now, Seven is experience um, that comes from self-evaluation, and it also gives you confidence to move forward. So this is the Seven of Swords. There is a better course of action available to you, and working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. The Seven of Swords talks about work smarter, not harder. This is really um, being sharp, having a determined attitude to get the job done and doing it in, you know, doing what it takes to make it happen. And that may not be in the conventional sense. Um, so this is really saying to you, think out of the box, because it is the mental realm, you know, it is to do with, you know, the knowledge you gain, um, the thoughts that you have. And this is clearly telling you that there is something better. So when you make that decision and you cut what no longer serves you, and obviously you have free will, you know, I would never presume to tell you how to lead your life, um, the better way will become clear to you. You know, you'll get that clarity from the Queen of Swords anyway. The Queen of Swords will be able to see, you know, what course of action you need to take. And it could be somebody uh, advising you, or it could be just you gaining that clarity as the Queen of Swords. And then you have the page of Raphael. Now, Raphael appears twice. It's really interesting because you've got two archangels that are strongly um, showing up. So if you are dealing with 
um, if you're finding it emotionally difficult to make this decision, for instance, I'd call upon Raphael. But if you want clarity, um, truth, then I would call upon Michael. So the page of Raphael, a new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. Now Raphael here represents the cup suit, which is water energy, which is your energy. This is, you know, feelings, relationships, love, emotions, and also your intuition. And the pages represent uh, a new direction, like a mini new beginning kind of energy. They also um, represent messages coming your way. Um, and sometimes um, the desire to to train, the training to become the knight. So in the Page of Cups, this is trying to figure out how you feel about the situation, which I'm obviously finding very normal to hear this here, because you're making a big decision in your life. And, you know, you're trying to get the clarity, uh, find the right way to work on this, and to get this sorted. And you, you're working out your feelings, you know, because obviously when you cut something off, whether it's a situation or relationship, it's going to affect you emotionally. So I'm not surprised to see the page of cups here. It could also be a message coming your way um, that's going to help you make this decision. That's totally possible. You could also be getting intuitive downloads. So, you know, trust your intuition, pay attention to synchronicities and signs is the um, advice I would give you here. Oops, sorry. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by as always. I appreciate your time. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir. Bonjour Sagittarius and welcome or welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. Now please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just ignore the rest. So what do we have for my Sagittarius querents please? What messages from their archangels do they need to hear? So your jumper was the Queen of Michael. And that's interesting because it was the first card that came out for the previous reading, so for Scorpio. So if you've got Scorpio in your chart, that may be relevant to you. We then have the Five of Michael. So you've got Archangel Michael coming, coming in quite strongly for you this month. Oh, and the Four of Michael. So yes, I think Michael has a message for you, most definitely. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy or the archangel supporting you this month, we have Sandalphon. Now, this is card number five, Divine Guidance. This is the equivalent to the Hierophant in the Tarot. So this is a major arcana, and to me as a Tarot reader, it represents the direct intervention of your spirit team to nudge you in the right direction so you may achieve your life purpose or to help you... Um, you know, have a better life, basically. So in this case, the archangels are trying to direct you into a specific um, way. Now, if you've not heard of Sandalphon, he, um, he represents spiritual knowledge and he delivers prayers from earth to heaven. He's a messenger. And the card reads, the search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So this is the Hierophant energy. So this is this could be um, enlightenment, you know, knowledge that comes from um, a, a, a mentor, someone who's wise, who has experience. Um, it could be also coming from the archangels, just giving you knowledge, you know, through intuitive hits. The Hierophant also represents your, your values, you know, your traditional values. It may represent uh, your place of work. Um, but it could also represent that you are on a spiritual quest, so take what resonates. Um, but generally speaking, it's guidance that comes from people who have experience or from your archangels giving you knowledge. 
Now, Michael means he who is like God, is a very big archangel. And this is the patron of truth, protection, justice and courage. And he represents the sword suit in, it, in this deck. This is air energy. So this is the mental realm. So the thoughts you have, the knowledge you acquire, the truths that are exposed. And we started with the Queen of Swords. So the Queens represent, generally speaking, patience and understanding. And because it's to do with the mental realm, this is someone who's very intelligent. Um, and who's going to look at the situation from a factual point of view rather than an emotional point of view. The keywords here talk about being brilliant, self-reliant, insightful and humorous because, yes, the queen can also be very witty because she's intelligent. And there are no genders attached, so it's a general reading. So this is somebody who embodies this characteristic. Or it could be simply you embodying this characteristic. And the queen of swords is someone who's going to cut what no longer serves her. She's going to see through the BS and she's going to, you know, make decisions accordingly. Someone who's very decisive. Also very loyal. So the card reads, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience and a time for your career rather than your relationships. So you see I mentioned that the Hierophant sometimes represents, um, you know, big companies, where you work, your workplace. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> because in medieval time, um, the church was, you know, a big institution. So that can represent this. Now, the Queen... She's someone who's very astute and, you know, she's going to make a decision. She's not going to just sit there and, and wait for it to happen. So whether, you you know, you're here because of a situation at work, um, this is saying that, yeah, you know what to do. You, you really do. You then have the five of Michael. Now, this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach. The five in tower represent changes. Now, the change can be challenging if you go against it, or it can be very positive if you roll with it. And again, you see, I was telling you, you know, I'm sorry about the very loud music in cars. It's really annoying. So, you know, I was telling you about having, you know, being in a situation and you know what to do, you know, cutting it off if necessary, this is really saying, this situation doesn't serve you, you know, this is just confirming the message I was getting. And you need to release your attachment to the outcome. So look at it from a, a, a factual point of view and, you know, release it, cut it off. And obviously you have free will, I'm just telling you the messages I'm hearing. You know, I will never presume to tell you how to live your life. But this is what the um, message is. And then you've got the four of Michaels. Insights that comes from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. So I'm really getting the message that there is a situation, probably at work here, um, you know, for most of you, um, and, and you know that this no longer serves you, you know that you deserve better and that a change is in order, but you may not feel um, that you have all the facts or you're unsure, and the advice here from Michael is to take a step out and either meditate or relax, do whatever it is that works for you, you know, to calm your mind so that then the answers can come to you and you will know what to do at this moment in time. But the message is really, you need to move forward um, because this is not helping you, it really isn't. And you may get a download, you know, from your archangels guiding you or you may have someone in your circle someone who's experienced who could help you make sense of all of this and it could be a queen of swords for example um you know so take what resonates like a co-worker you've known for a very long time or someone in your family who you know you can talk to whoever the case may be so i hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me if the message helped you in any ways do let me know in the comment box below i'd love to hear from you Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir. Bonjour Capricorn and welcome or oh, welcome back. Um, I hope you are doing well. 
Now, please do bear in mind, those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and just drop the rest. So what do we have for my Capricorn Querents, please? What messages do they need to hear from their Archangels? So we begin your reading with Archangel Jeremiel, New Beginnings. This is a major arcana, the world. The Four of Gabriel, so Four of Wands energy. And another major arcana, the Wheel, with Archangel Jeremiel. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy or the Archangel supporting you this month, we have the Three of Ariel. So let's start with this. Now, I love the energy of number three because it represents growth and expansion. Archangel Ariel is the patron of manifestation. That's why he is associated to the pentacle suit, which is the physical realm. So it's home life, the buildings and the relationship with it, or work life. So jobs, careers, business, projects, education if you're not employed, financial assets. So this is a three of coins card. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So this is a beautiful energy of growth, of very tangible growth this month for you. Um, you know, if you're trying to develop um, a project or something, this is going to grow. You, if you're growing your business, this is going to be all good. Your career may be advancing, people may start noticing what you're doing. Um, you know, it, it's a very nice card for that. And it may be also mm, talking about working very nicely with other people, you know, with supportive of each other, that kind of idea. So if you need support with manifestation, um, Ariel is a very good archangel to call upon. And half of your reading is to do with Major Arcana. Now, the Major Arcana to me as a tarot reader represent the direct intervention of your spirit team, and in this case, the archangels and angels, um, to direct you towards the right path, you know, to accomplish your life purpose, um, or to simply live a better life. Now, this is the world energy, and it's embodied by Archangel Jeremiel. If you've not heard of Archangel Jeremiel, it means mercy of God, that's what it, it, his name means. And this is an Archangel you can call upon to make changes in your life. And it helps you reflect on past experiences, which is why it's been associated with this card. Because the world talks about a wake-up call. It's like a report card, looking at a situation, a relationship, and assessing it. But it's a big wake-up call. It's a big energy on your life path. So starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So, you know... There are 22 arcana, major arcana, with the full being number zero, so 21 plus zero. And the judgment card is, did I call it the world? I don't know why I keep on saying the world. It's the judgment card. Please ignore me. Uh, I don't know why I was saying the world. It's the judgment card. The judgment card is one of the world. The world completes the cycle. But judgment is that big, big, you know, awakening that pushes you um, to do something better so that you can complete the cycle with the world. I apologize for calling it the world. I don't know what's going on in my head. And it's interesting because you've got the new beginnings and then you've got the will. So you've got 10 and 20, you know, half of it. And really, the will talks about cycles ending and cycles beginning. The will is always spinning. 10 is number of completion. And this is, again, Jeremiel, same archangel. So he's got a serious message to give you. You know, if you need support to reflect and to make changes in your life, definitely um, call upon him. Because this talks about new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. The Wheel of Fortune is forever turning. So if you've been experiencing um, a period that didn't serve you or of limbo or whatever, things are changing. They really are. And it's beautiful because these two cards that talk about starting a new life, new beginnings, are on each side of the Four of Gabriel, which is the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands, fire energy, talks about achieving a landmark, having had growth from the three. So you see you've got three and then you go to four. 
and having something to celebrate. It's fire energy, so it's, it's something that's really going to ignite your heart and soul on fire. So time for a celebration, abundant rewards for your hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So th really this card talks about, you know, this wake-up call of releasing something so that you may start anew and celebrate because you've been working on something and things are going to grow and this is that new beginning, this change of luck that's coming your way. Gabriel is another archangel to do with manifestation. He's the patron um, who supports you when you're trying to accomplish something. Um, so if you need support for that, um, Ariel is manifestation, this is accomplishing your goal, very similar type of energy and then Jeremiel will help you uh, make those changes happen. Um, it's a very powerful reading with big energies that say that really this changes, you know, this new start in your life, this new beginning is going to have a longer term effect and this is going to be something to celebrate. Whatever it is that you've been working and nurturing, um, this is going to reach a point of, you know, reaping the rewards of this hard work that you've put in. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate your time. I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.